our congregation has been invited to join together in reading through the Bible. I don't know if you've been uh, ever read through the entire Bible, but maybe this is the year you want to make that commitment. If you do, there's a group of us who are doing so uh, using a Tanakh reading program. So what it means is we're reading the Old Testament, the Hebrew Scriptures, in the order that the Hebrew Scriptures were originally compiled and the order in which Jesus had written. Essentially, that means reading Chronicles at the very end and reading the intertestament or the, um, the exilic portions kind of in a little bit more distinct order. If you'd like to do that, there was an email that went out this week with a link to how you can join us and how you can find that reading plan. You can do that reading plan on your own, or you can join us at uh, the version at mybible.com. And uh, Doug Trimble, who is one of our EP, uh, uh, supported missionaries, is actually uh, managing and moderating that group. There's a room for chat, and you can encourage one another as you read through the Bible. And you've only missed three days so far, so you can catch up really easy, and uh, we'd love to have you. Either way, I hope that you'll make an intentional commitment to read the Bible, whether you're looking for an overview of the Bible, to read kind of broadly through the whole of Scripture, or whether you're just trying to read one chapter a day and just really abide in God's Word. I want to encourage you to abide in God's Word this year. It's a really important commitment that will make all the difference in our lives.